what's going on guys uh winter model here um back at you it's been a while but today i have a really cool uh review to show you so this is going to be a tabletop review you know i didn't get a chance to shoot this gun yet i may be able to shoot it tonight but this is strictly going to be a tabletop review but this is a really neat gun i think a lot of you guys are going to like it so let me uh Actually, let me give you a sneak peek right here quick. Not here on the back porch. Uh, the Zastava. As you can see, the Serbian writing there. So, let me, uh, let you guys set up here on the uh, tripod and we'll be back. Alright guys, we're back. And, uh, as you see in front of me here, we got the Zastava arm still in the box. Now, obviously, I did take this out last night. You know, I messed with it a little bit, held it, you know, looked at it, went over it, cleaned the oil, all the uh, packing oil off of it and out of it. Um, I did not take it apart. I just took the dust cover off. But let's get right to it. There you can see, nicely packaged. Um... And there we go. Um, that is indeed. Of course, uh, that is the Zost of Arms M77 PAP uh, chambered in 308. Now, let me uh, get my, I did put the sling on here. This is just temporary. I have to get the uh, the correct sling to mount on that bottom part, but this is just temporary. Let me uh, get this sling off here for you, so we can get a better look at it. I'm gonna get this box out of the way here. Get this box out of the way, we'll be right back. All right, we got that mess out of the way, so there she is. This is, of course, the 2022 uh, edition of the PAP M77, made by um, Zostava, as it's pronounced. <coughs> uh, excuse me, guys, out here in the back porch, freaking pollen. But the uh, Zostava, as it's pronounced, uh, you know, we we pronounce it as a stava here, but it's actually pronounced Zostava. That is the correct pronunciation, but nonetheless, this is the M77 PAP, the 2022 model, which, of course, is pretty much is an AK chambered in the 308 Winchester. It also does shoot 7.62 by 51 NATO. Uh, you can shoot either or. Uh, I mean, it's it's built on the standard AKM platform. Uh, or it's a style of AKM platform, I should say. I should say it is a uh, it is mainly. Uh, I don't got enough zoom out on this to get you in frame for the whole thing, so we'll just set it there for now. Go over some things here quick about the gun, then I'll pick it up and show you. Uh, it is, of course, they consider it the younger, uh, the younger cousin of the M76, which was actually, well, the M76 was actually a, a Yugo Serbian, I believe, army um, weapon. Um, now the M77 was never issued, even the older versions, now the older versions, uh, obviously they didn't have the collapsible, uh, adjustable stocks. They had the, uh, the thumb hole stocks and they did not have the, uh, the muzzle brakes at all. So they consider this the younger version of the M76. Uh, of course it is made in Serbia. 
it is imported uh, by uh, the Stav Arms USA, as you see here, uh, just Plains, Illinois. Um, TT and scales is neck of the woods. Also, they can probably tell you more about you know the the Stav Arms specifically, uh, USA uh, specifically. Uh, as I said, it's chambered in 308 uh, and 762 by 51 NATO. It'll accept either or. Now, the characteristics of this specific gun, uh, they're very similar to the M90. Uh, of course, being said, you know, the M90, why it resembles it most characteristically, or um, I don't know, how would you say it? Uh, like the uh, aesthetics of the gun, I guess you would say. Uh, it's because, mainly because of the adjustable uh, the adjustable stock and of course up here on the front the uh the muzzle brake this just has a slant brake but now frame wise and platform wise it is modeled after the exhaust of m70 you know of course the m70 is a 762 by 39 gun great great gun I do not own one. I haven't owned one, but I've shot them, and they are, they are, in my opinion, you know, top three, four AKs you could buy. Um, that's just my opinion, but they're great AKs, you know, 7.62s. Um, now, everything on this gun, from obviously not mags, Obviously not the mags, that speaks for itself, but everything furniture-wise on this gun is interchangeable with the M70 and the M90s. So like you can put, I'll get to the stock um, reason for that in a minute, but I like the, all the furniture here. You can put the upgraded wood furniture on this, the hand guards, or you can put the wood stocks on this, and of course the grips. Um, now... I'll just get over some things here quick, and then we uh, pick it up and look at it some more. The barrel. Get you in frame here. I need to get a camera. I'm still doing this shit from my phone, so bear with me. Um, the barrel on this is 19.7 inches. It's you know, it's more or less a 20-inch barrel gun. It is uh, cold hammer forged with a a chrome line barrel so it's a pretty much a 20 inch cold hammer forged barrel that's chrome lined uh, you know i prefer the chrome line some people don't like them i like them you know you're going to get a little bit more accuracy it'll help keep it cooler and it'll help your accuracy and between the chrome lining and 20 inch i mean you can't i don't know, I don't know how you could bitch but some people are different but i the chrome line and the cold hammer forge is great for me. Uh, my likings. Uh, now, the magazines on these are 922R compliant. Uh, they are U.S. made. The mags are made in the U.S. They're steel. Steel mags. They are CS Specs brand magazines, I believe. Um... They offer these, it comes with one 20 round mag. You can buy aftermarket ones. You can, they have 20 round mags and 10 round mags right now. They don't make anything bigger. They don't make anything smaller, so you can buy 10 or 20 round mags right now. Uh, they're kind of a little bit pricey, I would say. The 20 rounders uh, from Zostava, other website, are $46. Uh, the 10 rounders, I believe, are 34 35 dollars so i mean a little pricey but i mean it's going to be more expensive than a 762 gun so no 762 by 39 gun obviously now there's been a myth on these guns i don't know if it's true i've heard uh, at first i heard a lot more yeses that it is compliant with them uh, lately since some guns have actually more of them have hit the market they had like a first batch they were sold out and here in the fall, they're going to be doing their second batch, uh, Zostava is, on these guns. 
I heard a lot of rumors, um, you know, a lot of internet talk, YouTubers. I wasn't sure what to believe, and I still don't know. I guess without trying it myself, I won't know. Um, there have been some rumors that uh, these would take the, the old uh, M1A1s or, you know, of course, the M14 mags. I'd, they say with a little bit of uh, sanding or grinding or something to the mag or inside the mag well. I'm just, I'm not doing that. Not with what I paid for this gun. Um, if I ever find out that, you know, the M14 mags do work, maybe I'll try it, but I'm not getting one. Ain't hey, no risking messing up the mag well or something. I'm just not doing it. Uh, so for right now, I just just buy this Zostava mags. You know, just run the M77 mags. Don't be fucking anything up with your, you know, fairly expensive gun. Or I won't anyway. If you want to, go ahead. But I, <laughs> I choose not to. But we'll see if the M14 mags really do fit them. Like I said, I'm not trying it. Uh... Like I said, the M70 and M90 furniture interchangeable on this gun. So that is really cool. I, myself, like I said in other videos, I'm bored with the black. But the nice thing is you can replace this. You know, you can get the cheese grater type, uh, the top forehead cover, you know, the gas block uh, cover there. You can get the, the maple and the... Uh, I think they have them in maple and oak uh, walnut, I believe. Or maybe just uh, maple and walnut uh, grips. And, of course, the stocks are the same color. Um, of course, the older versions of these had no, the no muzzle brake. And they had the uh, the solid stock with the thumb hole in it. So, um, the cool thing, the really neat thing about this, my cat's down here. He's probably going to jump up here. There he is. To the left, climbing up like a wild man. What are you doing, bud? Huh? <laughs> he likes guns, too. Can you blame him? Uh, the cool thing about this, let me get you up here. This gun has the adjustable gas block. So if you can see, there on my thumb, that's number two. And it is set in number two from factory. Down here you have the three, which will be the most gas. Hey, Ringo, get back, buddy. Knock the camera down. Kick your ass. Oh. And, uh, of course, right there is the number one. Uh, Zostava, uh, of course, they say on their website and in their owner's manual, uh, this will come set on two. They recommend you to um, break in the first 150 to 250 rounds on setting number two which is where it's at now and then of course adjust as needed with the ammo you're shooting so of course if you're uh of course you get it broken in on two and then you try something different and uh you know you're shooting and your bolt you know your carrier happens to really slap the rear trunnion uh Obviously, come up here and uh, crank her down to one. You got way too much gas in it. Um, obviously, if you happen to be shooting something that you're not getting enough, you know, to, to rock that, that bolt carrier back, it's probably on one and you need to crank her up to two. So, it's neat. You got a nice, uh, nice option. You just, there's a little tab here. You lift this tab up and then, uh, like there's a tool it came with a tool you just put in these uh these little holes here and turn it whichever way and then this this clip just falls back down there's the if you can see there's slots right there there's like detents so it falls down and it can't move so that's the gas system on that uh, adjustable it's really neat actually i think uh like i said the break-in setting on these is you know, at two for first uh, 150 to 250 rounds. And then they recommend, uh, if you can, you know, shoot ammo. You can shoot on one. Um, once it's broken in, they recommend one. But that's, of course, depending, of course, on your ammo. Uh, 
As far as the accuracy on this, like I said, I did not shoot this yet. I just got it yesterday. I hadn't had time to shoot yesterday. I probably won't have time to shoot today, maybe tomorrow. So, if you're going to be like one of those people that was on my other video, I don't know what his name was, Armed Farm. Uh, he's probably not armed at all. Or uh, maybe he is, and he's just a prick. You know, that doesn't have the balls to make his own YouTube videos, so he jumps on here and just trolls other people. But uh, apparently, you have to shoot every gun you buy on your first video that you make. I'm um, sorry, bud. Keep strolling. Uh, keep trolling, 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 as the limp biscuit would say. Uh, limp noodle, probably in your case, but uh, nonetheless, I'm not shooting this gun on this video today. Cry about it. Go watch another video that is um, uh, based around somebody shooting it. I'm not shooting it on this video. That's what it is. This is a review. I will shoot the gun at my leisure. And I'll video it when I feel like I have time to properly video shooting this gun. If it's not a shooting video, move the fuck along. Uh, that's that. Now the accuracy on this gun, from what I've seen, heard, for people, at 600 yards, this is a one inch uh, to one and a half inch MOA at 600 yards. That's with uh, now the one inch was with the Norma match ammo. Uh, of course, the one and a half they say was on the uh, the upper end of like your your better your bronze stuff, some of your Winchester, uh, your M80 ball 7.62 like I have here. Um, this is what I'll be putting through it first. This is 149 grain, about 2,800 feet per second. So one to one and a half inch, that's with iron sights. That's, that was not with a scope. That was 600 yards with iron sights. One to one and a half inch MOA. That's that's impressive for me. You know, or to me, that, that's very impressive. Um, so what to see? Um, I'm excited to shoot this, but sorry, armed farm. I'm not shooting today. You have to go uh, try about it, like I said. As you really don't matter to me. You're just a little fly in the ointment. A little gnat. But look for Armed Farm, guys. If you ever see him making a uh, YouTube video, go shout him out. Go check him out. But you don't have to worry about that happening because he's just a, a troll. But on this side, uh, getting back to my tabletop review, as it was, my non shooting video. Uh, it does come with the, uh, the Yugo style optics rail. Um, so pretty neat. You can buy the, uh, the scope mounts and put on this. They come up over and actually they are actually designing one to where it will sit high enough up off your receiver, up off your dust cover here, that you will be able to take your dust cover off without even moving uh, your dust cover and your, uh, your spring you would be able to take both of those up and out without even uh, taking your rail off. So that would be pretty neat. I'll be getting that in the future. Like I said, not now. I'm not. You know, I'm not going hog wild on this gun right now. Stuff is kind of expensive for it. I just I just wanted to get the gun. Um, I will be customizing it, but that'll be over time. Maybe some winter projects. Uh, of course, the the receiver. Is the AKM style receiver. So, uh, you know, your, your stock adapters, this is what I wanted to get to. Your stock adapters and all your aftermarket stocks on this will fit this. You know, the M70, M90 styles. As long as they're AKM, they will fit this. So that's pretty neat. It's another thing that makes this really cool. Now, this is the adjustable. You pull up on this. You slide it in, slide it out. I keep it back because I got longer arms, it locks in place. Now here, push this button, pull up. It's kind of, it needs some oil. It's really tight from factory. Let's see if I can get it for you. Yeah. 
as you can see there it comes up it's a cheek riser it locks in place and then to uh pull it back down push the button bring it back down it snaps in place but that's really tight and you put some oil in there well, i probably wouldn't even use that honestly but it's a nice little feature uh, big ass bee flying around here flip me around uh the selector switch the standard selector switch of course safe oh up is safe down's fire obviously everybody knows that it's kind of tight too need some working in there It'll loosen up over time but uh as you see here it does have the bolt hold open notch so bring this back for you bring this back bolt hold open pretty cool and then uh, of course just send the bolt on just flip her down uh, what else I wanted to get to on this of course, the hand guards are Serbian made polymer. Pretty solid, actually. Um, the stock on this is a. Uh, see, there, the stock is an Archangel made in USA. What pad? Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a harder rubber. It's not real soft, it's not real giving, so. And I'm assuming this is going to have a little bit of recoil to it. Not the 308 after all. But probably not going to be that bad to where you need to put, you know, an extra padding on there. Uh, of course, it has a cheek adjustment. I already said that. The grip on this is what they call a TD grip, I guess. Uh, yep, yeah, says right there, TD. And on the bottom, it has a little, uh, flip this up, pulled out. It has a little compartment in there to, uh, you know, store whatever. See the grip bolt down there, but it's it's hollow. Put whatever you want in there. Uh, battery, an extra, extra round of some sort, whatever. Maybe some pills if you got meds or whatever. It's there. <coughs> Like I said, the uh, Archangel adjustable stock. Now the weight, weight on this is 8.6 pounds. Uh, total length is 47 and a half, I believe. 47.5 uh, inches in total length. The uh, trunnion, 